In today's video, we are going to teach you about cryotherapy. You may have heard about cryotherapy. Well, because it's a very new concept to the healthcare industry. Let's look into it. What is cryotherapy? Cryotherapy is also known as cryosurgery or ice surgery. It uses cold temperature to damage tissue to treat diseases. Cryotherapy means it's the process of using high or extremely cold temperatures in order to destroy or damage the tissue by freezing those. It helps to treat various skin diseases and also some cancer diseases. Substances like liquid nitrogen is used by the doctors. Cryotherapy reduces muscle pain, swelling discs in ankles or in wrists. Now let's see how the procedure performed during the cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is performed by a well-trained radiologist in a radiology suit or in the operating room. It's an image-guided procedure. On the procedure table, patient will be positioned and it is an outpatient basis procedure. Doctors will apply liquid nitrogen to the area where a spray device or cotton swab if cryotherapy is done typically. A precutaneous procedure is performed for tumors that are deep inside the body and can be approached through the skin. A thin needle size applicator or cryoprobes are inserted. Now let's see the stepwise how the cryotherapy procedure is done. First, monitors are used to tracking blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen level and pulse rate. The patient will be connected to the monitors. An intravenous line is inserted into a vein in the arm or hand of the patient by a technologist or nurse to administer the sedatives. Breathing tube may not be required in this process. General anesthesia is required in some patients. The surface will be shaved, sterilized and covered with a sterile trap where the applicators or cryoprobes are to be inserted. A small skin incision is made at the site. Through the guidance of imaging, applicators or cryoprobes will be inserted through the skin to the site of the deceased tissue. Argon gas or liquid nitrogen is delivered once the applicators are in place. A rapid decrease in the temperature at the tip of the probe leads to the creation of an ice ball. Due to this, all the water around the tip of the probe freezes. Ultrasound, CT or MRI are used to visualize ice balls. IV line and applicators are then removed. Applications of procedure stops the bleeding and skin will be covered with a bandage. Here in this cryotherapy procedure, no switches are needed. At first, while applying the cryotherapy, vasoconstriction occurs first to reduce extremities. This is the result of the sudden decrease in the release of neurotransmitters due to local cold from the sympathetic nerves to the muscular coat of the atriovenous anastomosis. This increases blood flow and the temperature of the fingers. Vasodilation is followed by the new phase of vasoconstriction after that the process repeats Now let's think about the benefits of cryotherapy. First, it helps to reduce migraine. Cryotherapy helps in treating migraines as it cools and numbs the nerves around the neck area. By applying a neck wrap containing two frozen ice packs to the carotid arteries reduces migraine pain. The carotid arteries are accessible 
and also they are close to the carotid arteries. Second benefit is irritation of numb nerves. Cryotherapy has been using to treat injuries of athletes. The cold can actually numb an irritative nerve. Third benefit is it helps to treat mood disorder. The ultra cold temperature in whole body cryotherapy can cause the release of adrenaline, non-adrenaline and endorphins. It was actually effective in short term treatments. Fourth benefit is reducing arthritic pain. The whole body cryotherapy significantly reduced pain in people with arthritis. As a result, it has also allowed for physiotherapy and occupational therapy. Benefit number five. It may help treat low rise tumors. It can be used as a cancer treatment. It is done by freezing cancer cells and surrounding them with the help of ice crystals. It is used to treat some low risk tumors as well. Benefit number six. Cryotherapy may also help to prevent Alzheimer's disease and dementia. It may be an effective treatment because the antioxidative and anti-inflammatory effects of cryotherapy could help combat the inflammatory and oxidative stress responses that occur with Alzheimer's. Now let's think about how this cryotherapy application is being applied. Cryotherapy can also be known as cryosurgery. It is commonly used to treat a variety of benign and malignant lesions. In cryotherapy, the mechanism of destruction is necrosis. In the other words, necrosis is the result of the freezing and throwing of cells. Tissue injury begins with prolonged tissue cooling, metabolic disruption, ice crystal formation and cellular rupture. Microcirculatory failure and ischemia lead to cell death resulting in coagulative necrosis after having it. Physical destruction procedures are effective immediately, but physiological effects which include induction of apoptosis and cytokine release and secondary necrosis procedure damaging effects over several days. The mechanism of this action in cryotherapy is divided into three phases. First one is known as heat transfer, secondly cell injury and thirdly inflammation. Please visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com in order to get the more details. Finally, in this video, let us see about the advantages of cryotherapy and then disadvantages of cryotherapy. First we will see the advantages. There are a couple of advantages. Cryotherapy can temporarily reduce nerve activity which can also relieve pain. This therapy can treat tissue exter externally and internally. It can be used to treat a variety of skin conditions and some cancers as well. Finally, let's think about some disadvantages. Cryotherapy in cramping around the cervix after cryotherapy and bleeding. Skin infection, scarring and swelling, bone fracture, headache, hair loss and hypopigmentations. So these are a couple of disadvantages which can cause if we have the cryotherapy surgeries. Do you know what are the types of cryotherapy? There are four types. First one is ice packs, second one is ice spray, third one is immersion and the fourth one is ice massage. In order to get the more details, please visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com All the links are given below in the description. 
that's all about we would like to share on the topic of cryotherapy in order to get more details please visit our blog where you can find all the much detailed information on this particular topic our links are given below in the description apart from cryotherapy we are sharing so many other informative topics on the healthcare domain please visit our blog to learn those things as well finally thank you for watching our cryotherapy video please subscribe our youtube channel in order to get all the updates and our future videos please subscribe and share in order to support us and stay tuned with us thank you guys